All right. Hi, everybody. We've got some great news. I'm here with Diana Shepard and George Shepard. And uh, Amazon sellers, active Amazon sellers, they were featured in a CNBC article. If you have not read it yet, I will include it with this post, written by Ari Levy, uh, who writes for uh, CNBC. He covers Amazon. And he spoke with them last week about uh, some of the obstacles they faced in their account reinstatement. Uh, I originally met you guys uh, back in April, right? The Seller Velocity Conference. You attended that night, and you probably heard me saying, what, something about uh, suspensions and potential bad news and how people get stuck in the reinstatement process, right? You didn't realize you were going to experience it firsthand as you, as you did, right? Um, you and I had talked about it, and there was really no evidence that uh, you would be stuck for a while, and you, your suspension was not unique in any way. I mean, I've done a lot of them. I can attest to that, right? How much the minutiae of the details on what you're sending in in your POA mm -hmm. make all the difference in the world. Yeah. yeah. So that, it was so worth it in hiring you to help us navigate that because they don't let you know that even asking them a question can count against you. Yeah, yeah. They did. They counted a couple of your emails back as appeals, we found out later, right? Okay. They did. Yeah. A couple of questions we asked, they considered that as an appeal. And mm -hmm. then they would longer respond to us. So if it wasn't for you, yeah. we would have gotten back. We could not have navigated those waters without you. Thank you. Yeah. So just to go back through some uh, of the story and information, what happened was you, you guys gave it a try a few times. You brought me in for the escalation piece. Um, and then the escalations kind of initially fell on uh, deaf ears, right? They weren't really responding um with anything meaningful they asked you for a plan of action we found out later they didn't like one of your invoices right it was a handwritten invoice um right. which you know that that was considered a high crime for some reason <laughs> believable and you know it's yeah. fun because there are some legitimate companies still out there that will yeah. write written on top of a printed invoice yeah of distribution of goods yeah uh they don't like that yeah. But I mean, um, kudos to you guys because you hung in there. It was a very stressful, difficult process. I mean, I'm kind of used to the way it works. I used to handle it on the inside and now I'm helping people deal with it as suspended sellers on the outside. But I mean, you're not as familiar with this process and it takes a lot of perseverance, right? Absolutely. You can't, you can't give up, you know, and you can't expect it to be a quick process before yeah. the way they have it set up. Once you're on the outs, it, it's it's a fight to get back. So yeah, you gotta be. They push you further and further out. You know, yeah. to explain yourself, to explain what's going on. Right. And they kind of expect you to give up at a certain point, or feel discouraged, or I gave it a good shot. I got to rebuild my business some other way. But you didn't cave into that. You know, a lot of people. I guess what's frightening is that a lot of people do get discouraged and they do give up but you hung in there. And I'm very proud of you for that, by the way, <laughs> um, because it takes patience, right? But we had stacking storage fees. We yeah. had a balance that went into the negative and we had to start paying for the storage while, while everything was happening. How many months did it take us to get back on loan? About four. Oh God, a long time. And you lost that revenue. I mean, the good news is you can recoup, recover, you know, for Q4. Um, yeah. And we've talked a lot about inventory, you know, problematic inventory and some things maybe come, you know, they come out and they uh, lower the chance that you'll get these kinds of item quality complaints in the future. But now, you know, this whole inauthentic, right? They use the word inauthentic to mean anything, really. And, and knowledge is the key, Chris. And I think you gave us the knowledge and most people don't have the knowledge. And if you don't have the knowledge, that's a priceless Thing. Having your number is priceless to us. If we have a problem, we can call you now. And that's right. great. Yeah, we'll have to get together next time I'm in New York, right? For sure. We'll and celebrate a little bit when you come out. I know. I know. No, I'm really glad you got reinstated. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are going to come to you for words of wisdom because not only did you hang in there over you know multiple escalations and then Amazon kind of tuned you out. You had to find ways, creative ways, right, to motivate them to look at you again and then uh, to counter their notions that you had sold anything that wasn't as advertised or wasn't authentic, which you, you had sold legitimate product, right? All of the products.
products we sold were legitimate. Yeah. We never had a fake, but we did have a few products that may have been purchased through a questionable source. Mm -hmm. That's a big issue because a lot of people don't understand how they really need to investigate where they're buying their stuff from. And that's part of the knowledge of how we what yeah. we learn. Right, right. So any other any other pearls of wisdom that you can share with people before we wrap it up? I mean, mostly I just wanted to tell people you're back on, you're active. I think that your your credentials speak for themselves. When we were in <laughs> you versus other people, um, you just seem to be on the up and up and on the straight and narrow. And we really like that. We like dealing with you. You made it easy. You made it um, not difficult. I know it took some time, but we right. got it. And I think everybody's happy. Yeah. And I would like to add is every time you're sourcing a potential product, you absolutely need to know what Amazon wants from you uh, as far as vetting the supplier, uh, vetting the product itself, stay away from all problematic items, hands down, and, and uh, you should be okay. I know sometimes you see an item and the margins are so good that you just feel like you have to get it. Sometimes you got to look twice. Why are the margins that good? Yeah. Excellent point. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining me tonight. I'm so glad you're back on and um, we'll have to check in, you know, with you guys after you've gotten back to that cruising altitude and hopefully it'll be right back where you were when this all happened. It's unfortunate that it happened, but this is kind of the way Amazon is uh, a little bit these days and you just have to do the best you can with it. So, yeah. Well, we're on, so if there's anything we can do, we're, we're always going to be here. Yeah, great. Thank you so much. Thank Chris, you, Chris. Bye, Look forward to seeing you, Chris. <laughs> yeah.